enforcement, his dedication, his concern of working for the people of this county. He has never asked anything of me or anyone that he's ever worked with. The prosecution began presenting rebuttal witnesses just a short time ago and hopes to complete up test, uh, complete testimony yet tonight. That would mean that there will be closing arguments tomorrow and the case should go to the jury sometime tomorrow. Bob, Bill? Okay, Rod, thank you. Another major corruption indictment is looming over Hillsborough County government as the federal grand jury concludes $2,000. Uh, They're trying, trying to get uh, Mr. Short, you? Warren, uh, what was the reaction of the former sheriff himself when this verdict was announced? Well, uh, certainly it was uh, absolute glee, and uh, he's only a few feet away. Uh, there was absolute glee, a loud cheer erupted. Many uh, of Short's political supporters uh, who have uh, 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 brought backing and so on were here to observe it. Here comes Anthony Battaglia. Uh, the uh, head of the defense team, along with Mr. Short and his entourage, uh, there was a feeling all along that this would be a long jury deliberation, Hugh. It lasted almost two hours to the minute, but instead it turned out to be a, a much shorter uh, deliberation than the attorneys and most of the courthouse observers thought. And uh, one juror, an alternate, is, as of course you know, Hugh, an alternate juror is chosen uh, to sit in case one of the jurors gets sick. And uh, that juror left the courthouse, was dismissed. He refused to comment, but said that uh, he indicated anyway might have a hard time deciding. It's, uh, I'm sorry to, well, despite sorry to the, hang on, Hugh, but he's just a minute away from us. Here. Yes, uh, despite the fact of the, the, the verdict, and the verdict, of course, is a very important one, and uh, he is the former sheriff, had he indicated what his future plans might be? He has said all along that he would run for sheriff again, that he would once again uh, enter the political arena. Uh, Mr. Short was an immensely popular politician. He had a very strong following and uh, waged well-financed campaigns. I, Hugh, it's, it's any second, but I guess we better go back to you. All right, Warren, we will come Wait, back. Wait, here comes Mr. Battaglia, Hugh, if I may interrupt. Surely. We're going to go get him. Excuse me, sir. Whoops, wait. Mr. Battaglia, Mr. Stroh, we're on live right now. All right. What's your reaction, sir? The system works. The system really works. Mr. Short. Yes. The system works. Right? Well, it was a long two weeks. It's been a long eight months. I want you to know that I thank the world this guy here. He's done a great job for me. Really and truly, I don't think they've ever should have charged me. But thank God we have a system in this country that will set people free that haven't done any wrong. Thank will you, you very much. Office again, Mr. No comment now. Thank you very much. And so there you have it, live coverage from Dade City, former Pasco County Sheriff John Short hey. being acquitted by a jury tonight on the charges against him. A dedicated person to the people of Pasco County, and it's so unfortunate that I'm still not there. Do you feel the state has abused the legal system and its prosecution of you? At this moment, please do not ask me those type of questions because I'd like to have a little fun tonight and enjoy uh, for once in many months uh, free to go where I want to go and how I want to go. And, and uh, that, thank you very much, you Mr. Short. We appreciate it. And your family. Thank you. Once again, Cheryl and John, John Short has been vindicated by a jury of six people. Back to you. Okay. Thank you very much, John. And when we come back, we're taking you underground. So stay with us. Short is now working in real estate in Newport Ritchie. He's not saying tonight if he'll run again for Pasco Sheriff. In Dade City, Al Pefley, 44 Eyewitness News. It is so busy at the... This is CBS. What do you do when you're being tried on corruption charges and hear this? In the jury, find the defendant, John M. Short, not guilty, count two. So say we all. Former Pasco Sheriff John Short went out and partied. Record heat in Florida today set off a few thunder showers. The Blue Jays could fall from first place and the mouth of the South wins his fight in Tampa. Is U.S. Senator Paula Hawkins of Florida going to be a million dollars richer 12 days from now? She's banking on it. The Newlywed Game, tonight at 11.30. Good evening, I'm Terry Casey. Last night at this time, we were showing you victory parties in the wake of Hillsborough County elections. Tonight, there is another big victory celebration, but it's in Dade City. This party focused on former Pasco Sheriff John Short. 
A jury this evening found Short not guilty of political corruption charges. The trial lasted more than a week. It took the jury less than two hours to come back with a verdict, as Nightbeat's Warren Ellie reports.